Good morning, all of you, once again. Good morning, Good morning sir. Uh, this is Dr. Nesar. Uh, welcome you all in the lecture series of Artificial Intelligence and the Robotics. This is our third lecture. And up till we have seen the different concept like what is been by the artificial intelligence, various uh, examples of the artificial intelligence, history of the artificial intelligence, applications, and uh, also, we have seen the relationship between the AI, ML, and the deep learning. I hope all of you have got that concept. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, our today's session is on the overview of the machine learning and some of the basic algorithm related with the machine learning. Okay. Now, uh, Machine learning as a syllabic point is not there, but for your understanding purpose, we need to understand the uh, algorithms related with the machine learning so that the our further concept will become easy for your understanding. Okay, now let's start. Now uh, you can see here. This uh, definition and the uh, uh, description already last time also we have discussed. But here just I have shown you on the right side, you can see the figure. I have shown the machine learning and the, some of its related uh, algorithms. Understood. Now, in case of our uh, uh, exam point of view, we don't have any kind of algorithm related with the machine learning. But for the purpose of understanding, uh, I'm explaining this part to you. Okay. Now, what is the machine learning concept? Last time I told you what is mean by the machine learning. Yes. Anybody else? Naikode, Sonal. Sir. Ah, yes. Yes, Sonal. Machine can learn from extensive part of the current data. Okay. Is called machine learning. Oh yes. Anybody else? Go to Karshuvangi. Yes, Jasmine. Jasmine Sheikh. Yes, sir. What you understood the machine learning? What is mean by the machine learning? Fenal. So, machine learning means uh, it yes. uh, improves the automatically of uh, device. Machine. What it improves and so, how? So it's a. Um, language of machine that to understand machine can understand it. no final learning sir machine learning is artificial intelligence jahan pe machine ko uh, ability provide ki jati hai ki wo khud na khud cheeze improve kar sake uske andar aur cheeze uh, learn bhi kar sake and uske andar explicit programming kiye bina wo cheeze uh, khud yes. adapt kar sakti hai i last time i showed you the relationship between the artificial intelligence machine learning and the deep learning yes. yes so artificial intelligence is the broader term uh, if you remember that figure i have shown you last time so under the you know to make the artificial intelligence successful we need the two important technology to be uh, follow one is that is the machine learning and another, another is which another is the deep learning deep learning, deep, deep learning. okay so machine here I already learning. have uh, written the definition. Life learning. The machine learning is nothing but the subfield or the uh, under the artificial intelligence. It is a, another branch uh, related to the artificial intelligence that provide the system 
ability to automatically learn and improve from the experience understood now related with the machine experience is nothing but what its data that is the data. clear all of you yes so yes. there are the different kind of machine learning algorithms are there uh, on the can you able to see this figure Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So uh, there are the various kind of machine learning uh, algorithms are there. Okay. So out of that, out of that, we are just going to see uh, some of the basic. Like here, uh, I am marking here. Uh, let's see. I am marking here like this one as an unsupervised learning. Can you able to see the mark? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Okay, unsupervised learning, and second important one in that the supervised. Learning. Okay, now before we go to that uh, actual algorithm, we need to clear the two uh, one important point from here. That is nothing but. what is mean by the without being explicitly program what what is mean by the without being explicitly program last time also uh, we have discussed this point okay now uh, with example uh, today we have taken one example and that with the help of that example uh, we can make that concept clear what exactly mean by the without explicitly program in the definition of the machine learning you can see in the last in the last part this part you can see improve from the previous experience without being explicitly program now first we understand what is actually actually mean by the explicitly program okay explicitly program means what here in the bracket uh -huh. also i have mentioned the hard coding can you able anybody able to tell me what is mean by the hard coding so it means uh, it do the task automatically without any human intervention that is the hard coding you want to say roini so hard coding means uh, uh, you yes and uh, return Mm, can't hear you properly, Rohini. So, hello. Ha yes. So hard coding means human la apne la samajna nahi to kono machine la samajna nahi manje hard coding. Machine can understand but human cannot understand that language. No. Yes. Another anybody else? unmute the mic somebody's bike uh, voice i am hearing here ha ah, yes fenal what do you mean by the hard coding so hmm hard coding means uh, we cannot be altered or modified without exactly. modifying exactly exactly who is this who is this asma sir yes hard coding last time also i try to uh, explain the example uh, means what suppose i told you to do the c program of addition of the two numbers now in that program you have to write the each and every instruction for what to display the number to uh, take the input from the user etc etc means what for each particular action that you want to perform from the machine for each and every action you have to write the instruction you are getting what i'm saying for each and every action you have to write the instruction here also i have mentioned write, writing out the instruction in order to uh, accomplish a change manually is nothing but the explicit programming means what whatever action you want to be performed from the machine for each action there is a need to write the uh, there is need to write the particular programming instruction that is we are doing uh, like programming that we are doing in our uh, academies understood we have not seen up till the program related with the machine learning yes or no 
you are getting what i am saying yes sir in in our practicals also we have seen whatever task you want to perform for that particular task we have to write an each and every instruction you are getting what i am saying so in case of the machine learning programming there is a no need of such kind of things understood what there is a no need of such kind of things and that's why it is being referred as without being explicitly program understood now below in the second statement i have mentioned no hard coding means no need to write the specifically each and every instruction for the particular machine action machine action manje kay ata just like when you are uh, doing some program and you want to display some on the uh, on your monitor screen now you know to display something on the your monitor screen you need to write the instruction in your program or not hello yes sir we have to write you have to write the particular instruction na yes yes you know to display something on the screen you know to take the input from the user that kind of things understood but in case of the machine learning programming for each and every action there is a no need to write the programming language instruction understood and that's why it is called as what without explicitly program okay. and that's why it is being referred as a no hard coding now okay. another i have made it more simple by taking this example see here you can see the below strip okay where i have mentioned a three instruction can you able to see all of you yes sir yes sir so what i have written string first name equal to hello world okay first name is a variable then console right line first name then third string first name equal to console dot read line now can you anybody able to tell me what is the difference between the first instruction what is the difference between the first instruction and the second instruction uh, sir in first instruction uh, the value is uh, directly assigned and in second instruction uh, it is uh, read from another one. another in the sense it will be user uh, user exactly who is this who said the so user input. roini yes roini you are not in the range okay you said correctly now if you observe this first statement okay this first statement see now in this first statement every time if you want to change the value of first name you have to make you know you have to make the change here all of you are agree yes sir. yes sir but in case of the second statement there is a no need to change in the value every time why do you understand what i am asking in case of the first statement yes, you need to change this value every time yes if you want to change the value of first name correct yes sir but what is the case in case of the second statement is there any need to change the value every time no no sir because no, you sir. are taking the value from the user yes, yes. sir mm. understood means in case of the first one manually you have to do the changes yes you are getting what i am saying manually you have to do the changes here in order to modify the value of first name and that is called mm. as what the hard coding got the point okay sir i am trying to simplify it and in case of the second one there is a no need to change the value because you are asking the value from the user you are getting what i am saying yes sir you are yes, asking sir. the value from the user no need to yes, change sir. the value every time so that is being come under the category of what no no hard coding. hard coding i hope you have got the difference between the explicit programming and without, without explicit ex programming you got the point yes sir yes so that is that is now i am i am going to make it more clear by taking the uh, uh, real life example now suppose when you are uh, suppose you have you have joined the course of uh, driving the car okay you have joined the mm -hmm. course of driving the car driving car and you 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 learn 
driving by using the that Maruti Suzuki car. Usually, the most of the uh, uh, school of that learning prefer. Correct. Yes, sir. You join the driving course and you learn the driving using that Maruti Suzuki car. Correct. Okay. You got the situation. Yes, sir. Yes. Then now you finish your course. You finish your course, and your pa your parents bring the Ma Maruti's Swift car into your home. Maruti's Swift car. You are getting what I am saying. Yes, sir. Can you able to drive the Maruti Swift car? Shubham. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Do you got the situation? What I am saying. Sir, explain again. Hello. You, you, you learn the driving using which car? Maruti. 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 The small car, correct? But Maruti. your parents, Maruti. your parents bring the Swift car, purchase the Swift yes. car. Yes. What I am asking, will you be able to drive the Swift car? Yes, sir. We can drive. Yes, definitely you can drive. Correct. Yes, yes sir. After yes. learning the driving course once, you can drive the truck also. Yes, yes. sir. <laughs> yes, na. With some, yes. you need yes. some, you need some practice, but you can definitely able to do that. Yes, yes. sir. Of course. Yes. Of course. Means once you learn the driving, there is a no need to learn the driving for another vehicles like the sweep truck, like that kind of things. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Correct. Yeah. Means what? Programming of your brain has happened how many times? Once or not? Once. Consider your programming of your brain has happened. Uh, uh, meaning of that, you learn the driving course. That is the, to that I am referring the programming of your brain happen. Correct. Right, sir. Right. Yes, so sir. you you learn the driving course for the Maruti 800. And after that, you can drive the any vehicle. Am I right? Yes, yes sir. Yes. And that is nothing but the without being explicitly programming of your brain. Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, if sir. you are, if you need to join the driving course for the truck also, for another vehicle which is different from the Maruti car also. Then that will come under the category of explicit, explicit program. program. I hope now all of you have got the concept. He explicit yes, program, Ani, without being explicit. H M Madhya Ata. He ji definition hai. He ji definition hai. Which definition? This is a previous definition. Now most of the people are having the confusion in the particular part. That part is nothing but what this part. You are getting. What exactly mean by the without being explicitly program? मतलब ऐसा है का कि machine learning साथी programming करा भी लागत नहीं, ऐसा है का नहीं तो सुनाइए। नहीं नहीं। ये सर programming तर करा भी लगते, पर that hard coding is not required to be done. Yes sir, it work on past experiences. Yes, once it learns yes. initially, then it can modify itself. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. yes just sir. like you once you drive learn the driving course after that if the if you try to if you try to drive the truck you can you can make the changes in your in yourself yes or no by yourself yes, yes sir yes sir. or will you will you need uh, that a person who have taught you the driving no na no no mm -hmm. exactly and so that example just uh, uh, come into uh, come in my mind and uh, that's why i told you that example okay I hope all of you got another example. I can tell you. Do you need another example, real life example? Yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. For example, when we are in the child age, child age means that that mana pasa years, baro baro pasa sa years, baro baro. Now, our parents, our parents teach us that if somebody, some vehicle is coming from your right side or the left side of your road, are you with me, all of you? Yes, yes. Sir. Our parents uh, teach us if there is a, some vehicle coming from the left side or right side of your uh, uh, on the vehicle, that time you should not cross the road. Am I right? 
Hmm. Yes. So, yeah. But now, if initially your parents taught you, suppose one bike is coming from your right side, that time your parent told you, now bike is coming, don't cross the road. Correct. Yes. yes. Once your parent taught you this kind of situation, will there be the need in the future that your parents has to tell you? If truck is coming, if car is coming, if any vehicle is coming, don't cross the road. Is this kind of instruction will be need from your parents every time? No, sir. No, no, no sir. That is nothing but the without explicitly programming. Am I right? Right. Yes, yes sir. sir. I hope the concept is being clear. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, this example is very good. Uh, yeah. Now let's see. Now that is the point I want to explain here. Now come to the our. Uh, learning approach now as initially i told you two learning approaches are there one is the supervised and another is the unsupervised here here you can you can be able to see uh, the basket okay here you can able to see this basket with some fruit okay with some fruit and what we have to do we have to do the grouping of this fruit understand what we have to do we have to do the grouping of the fruits which is being put in this basket here you can read suppose okay here you can read suppose there are two Hello guys. Yes sir. Yes sir. Ah uh, yes, we got disconnected because of the time limit. So, uh, if we we first learn about the supervised learning. Now we have given the basket, and it is filled with the different kinds of fruits. And our task is what we have to arrange them in the group. Understand the situation? Yes sir. Hmm. We have to arrange them as a group. now for understanding let me clear you the name of the fruit also i am telling you the name of the fruits we have the apple we have the apple we have the banana okay mm. then uh, uh, we have the grapes grapes and yes. we have the cherry cherry Orange. cherry okay okay and now we have to arrange them in the group here you have to consider you already know about these fruits am i right yes sir yes sir. then now meaning of the my statement that you have already know about these fruits is what you have you have some previous you have some previous experience related with that am i right right sir yes sir you have some previous experience uh, what experience related with that and that is the reason that is the reason if i ask you if i ask you to group these fruits in the different groups you will be able to do that easily or not yes yes how how will able to do that on the basis of past experience Yes. Past experience in the sense means what? Means uh, to us we have explicitly without explicitly programmed uh, as you gave the last example. Hmm. Yes, we understand that how that uh, group we can do that from past. Now how that is I am asking how how you can do the grouping of the fruits which is being contained in the basket. Okay. Color. Uh, Color already size. know. Ha ah, exactly who said the color shapes yes means you already know about some of the physical characteristic of that fruit yes or no yes sir yes, so that is the reason physical characteristic like what if if the apple come in front of you you know it is a rounded shape there is a notch in the uh, between part of the apple it is a red color like that kind of thing things you would know yes or no yes 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 sir yo yes, sir. so your previous work is 
called as the training data. Very important part. What? Training. जी जा गोष्टी तुम्हाला already माये ते त्या food बदल त्याला काय मनाये जा? Training data. Training data. You already trained. Understood. Yes sir. Your previous work is called as the training data in data mining. You already learned from the things. Okay. So this is because now that's why that particular uh, we can call that particular train variable as a response variable also can we able yes or no Je, the things which you know as a train data can we call them as a response variable yes sir yes, yes because sir. it is giving us yes. giving you the some kind of idea or you can call that's why you can call it yes. as the response variable or the response variable or the decision variable yes or no yes sir yes sir yes yes sir then now come to the next point so suppose you have taken a new fruit from the basket and then you will see the size color shape of that particular fruit yes or no what you will observe if you if you take the one fruit from the basket what first actually these things are happen within some microseconds in our brain uh, yes, yes or no yes, but yes. what i am telling yes, you now what i am telling you now the inside part the inside processing which is happening in our brain without any kind of delay understood what happen in our brain in our brain the physical characteristic of that fruit comes like if you if you take the fruit from your size. basket if its size of that fruit is big if the color is red what if the size of that fruit is big color is red big shape is Rounded shape, rounded shape, rounded with, shape. With depression at the top, you will confirm the fruit name as what? It is the which kind of fruit? Apple. 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 Understood. Yes. And you will you will put yes. that you that you will put that fruit in which group? Apple group. Apple. Yes or no? Apple group. Likewise, yes, sir. likewise, you will do it for the other fruit also. Yes, yes sir. sir. And accordingly, yes, sir. you can do the grouping of the fruits. Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, you can sir. group all the fruits according to this. If yes, the size, if the size is small, color is red, heart shape to the nearby globular, that kind of fruit is what? Cherry. If the size Cherry. is big, color is green, long curving cylinder, the name of the fruit is what? Banana. 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 If the size is small, color is green, round to the oval, bunch shape, cylindrical. that fruit name is what grapes. grapes grapes so that is nothing but the job of grouping this particular grouping is called as the technical name for this kind of grouping is called as the classification what it is called as what classification, classification. this kind of group is called grouping is called as what classification Class now do you feel any kind of difficulty in grouping this kind of way No. No. no, no, no. Because you already have some kind of knowledge about that kind of fruits. That's why you don't feel any kind yes. of, you don't feel any kind of difficulty. Difficulties. Okay. Yes. So you can observe in the table also that fruit column was labeled as a fruit name. This is called as a, this all being referred as a response variable. If you learn the thing before from the training data, so the things which you already know that you are referring was a training data, correct? Yes. the thing which you already know before we can call it as a training data or not yes sir yes, yes and sir. and applying that training data what applying that applying that training, training data, data to some new fruit understand the situation applying that training data yes sir to some new fruit that yes. that particular kind of thing is called as what that kind of data you can call as what that kind of data this data exactly that kind of data you can call what that kind of data you can call as a knowledge to the test data test, test data ah. test data hmm. understood just like i i told you ki apli task kay hoti aplala bucket madhe fruit identify karaychi hoti barobar no hmm. so you do you did it, you you can do it easily because you have some past experience related with that data so that past experience related with that fruit is yes. but the training data understood and you are yes. applying you are applying that knowledge to the new data yes or no 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you are applying that knowledge to the new data, that new data is nothing but your which kind of data? Test data. Test data. I hope you have got the two terms: the training data and the test data. Test data. The things which are already known that is considered as the training data, and the new things yes. comes in front of you. And if you apply your previous knowledge on that new things, that new thing is called as which kind of data? Test yes. data. Yes. Understood. Test data. And this kind of learning is called as what? The supervised learning. Supervised learning. Supervised learning. Got the point? This kind of learning is called as what? Supervised, supervised learning. learning. Supervised learning. All of you learning. got the concept? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. And this particular grouping, this particular grouping, comes under the technique that is called as what the classification. Supervised learning. That is called as what the classification. 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 Understood. That is being referred as the classification. Okay. So all of you got the supervised learning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of you got the supervised learning. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now come to the next point. That is the unsupervised learning. We apply apply learning. the example same example here also. Suppose you have a basket and it is filled with the different types of the fruits. Your task is to arrange them as a group. Same task we have to perform. Correct? Yes. Here you can you can observe the, this figure. Here you can observe this figure. We can observe this figure also give. Gives you the idea about what we have discussed now, correct? Yes. Sir. Yeah. This yeah. is the supervised, and below is the example of unsupervised. Input, input data means what? Apple. That that has to be Apple. tested. That has to be tested. Annotation means what? Train. That already you know. Ki tum tum already mai the ki ha is being understood. Apple. Mag yes. machine learning la kaise? How the machine learning? How the machine learning yeah. model? Identify this. That is being shown here. Okay, so machine yeah. learning model. This is being considered the machine learning model, like our brain. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So machine has. So in case of the supervised learning, machine has to give the training first. Ki if the size of the particular fruit is large, it is color red, like red. that kind of things, then the prediction should happen like this. It is an it is apple. 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 Okay. Now, now come to the next point. That is the point of the unsupervised learning. Suppose you have basket and it is full with etc. etc. This time, now here, this time you have to imagine. Okay, guys, this time you have to imagine. You don't know anything about the fruits. Okay. Okay. This is important statement. What you have yes. to imagine? You don't know anything about the fruit. Ki apple ka hai, cherry ka hai, banana ka hai. This is you don't have any clue about this. Now, yes. How you will arrange them, and what you will do first? Physical. The, you got the physical character. So what will happen? You will consider about the physical character of that particular fruit. Fruits. What you will think? You will think about the physical character of that fruit. And now let's see further. Suppose you have consider first physical character. You have consider as a color. What? Color. 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 Then you will arrange them on consider on the basis of the color, and accordingly the group will form. Correct. So according yes. to the, yes, according to the first characteristic. Let's see how the group is forming. Red color group. Here you can see. Can you yes. see red color group? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Red color group. Mag red color group. Mag the kutle which which fruits will come under the red color group? Apple, apple and cherry. Apple and cherry. Definitely apple and the apple cherry. And cherry. Okay. Then you have to keep in mind in in your in front of your eyes there must be that bucket basket. Containing the yes. four fruits: yes. apple, cherry, yes, grapes, sir. and banana. Banana. Then, 
next color is there any next Great. color available in the basket fruits yes yes what is that next color green green green, green color then according to this color which fruits can be put in this group banana, banana, banana and grapes banana and, grapes. and the grapes, grapes. Now, some of you might be uh, some of you can say here ki uh, uh, black grapes are also there like you have, you have to consider about the, <laughs> only the yes. green sir, grapes banana is yellow na uh, banana, yellow, banana is yellow <laughs> banana yellow, yellow. <laughs> banana is yellow no 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 banana yes <laughs> here you can see it is yellow but if it is not ripe completely it can also Ketcha come under the category of it can come under the category green. of green okay green. yes yes for the for the sake of example yes yes you are correct yes, it, is, it is being it is being we are looking at it as a yellow but we have to form the group yes or no sir, i can understand sir ah, yes. we can understand yes so here you have to you have to consider the kachcha banana correct so that remaining two fruits will come under the category of green color group and green accordingly color. the two groups will be formed one is the red color another is the green color, green color. so green according color. to the first characteristic according to the first physical characteristic we have formed the two groups correct now yes, you sir. can we can apply yes, sir. again yes yes sir yes okay so first according to the first character what first characteristic we have taken the color now let's move forward and now we will take the another physical characteristic as a size yes we will take the another physical characteristic as a size here yes sir okay and yes sir now we will combine that two characteristic which two characteristic first we have seen the color and now we are uh, now we are looking at the size correct color yes. now we form the group like yes. red color and the big size correct size can be a, yes. here you consider the size can be a big or small one two things yes yes red color and big size big size so yes. under the red color and big size which fruit come apple apple apple, apple. then red color and the small size which fruits would come cherry cherry, cherry. Mm -hmm. exactly green color cherry. big size banana banana, banana. color small size grapes. 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 grapes so our job is done happy ending yes or no yes, yes sir you, yes, you, sir. you 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 didn't know anything still mm -hmm. still you have done the grouping or not yes, yes sir all of you got the situation Yes, we didn't know yes. anything we didn't know anything still we able to group the we able to do group the fruits yes and this kind of grouping is called as the clustering clustering okay this kind of grouping is called as what clustering, clustering. and this kind of clustering and this kind of learning is called as what unsupervised, unsupervised, learning. unsupervised learning. learning concept clear learning yes sir yes sir okay and so likewise likewise there are still more uh, algorithms related with the machine learning but we don't have to do with that now uh, in this subject i just want to these are the two popular under this supervised and the unsupervised other algorithms also fall okay are there another another algorithm also come under the supervised learning also and the unsupervised understood so in the similar way yes, machine also learn yes. using the supervised learning also and using the unsupervised learning also unsupervised yes, learning also just like us as a human yes, being sir. just like us as a human being learning as a supervised also as a unsupervised the same concept is applied to the machine also got the two two learning approaches supervised learning and the yes. unsupervised learning unsupervised <laughs> learning approach any doubt in the today's session no sir, no, sir. Yes, sir. concept clear zali kuni can anybody able to tell me then the real life example of uh, supervised learning
most of the things we learn comes under the supervise am i right yes sir jase mi magashi tumhala road crossing i told you the example of road crossing somebody has supervise on you am i right yes sir somebody has already taught you if bike is coming from your side on the any of the left side or the right side you must not cross the road somebody has already taught you right yes sir yes. am i right somebody has supervise on you ha uh, yes sir yes sir that is the supervise then if you learn something without the supervision of anybody yes. if you learn something without the supervision of anybody then that become the unsupervised learning Yes. For yes, example, ah uh, yes, anybody can. Can I get the example from you? Unsupervised learning. Uh, sir, just say that we have learned 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 that Uh, yes, you try you tried it you tried it because uh, you know to find the example of unsupervised learning it is difficult uh, yes, still i can try uh, some people used to do the copy so oh, in the exam <laughs> am i right yes sir yes sir how to do the copy i don't think anybody has to tell you <laughs> no you want no, anybody sir. tell right. you uh, perfect you want you want anybody perfect tells example. you you want anybody tells you student able to find out their own strategies am i right yes <laughs> yes sir so that we can consider as a unsupervised learning approach unsupervised right, right. right. perfect example perfect, perfect example, example. <laughs> so that is the that is the end of today's session uh, here i have the one quote for you today you are stronger than you think so uh, yes. take the efforts